Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be going in and talking what could possibly be the second most difficult challenge in the game when it comes to base defense. The first one being something that happens at the end of the story that I will not be spoiling for you guys today. But what I'm talking about today is that is unlocking your Coltana. It is no longer as easy as walking in, breaking a piece of charcoal and getting a Coltana or as it originally was, walk up and just pull the coltana out of a piece of coal nope it is definitely not that easy anymore there's a whole process you need to follow and we're going to be going through that today so first things first preparation is key going through and prepping up some gear for yourself is going to be definitely necessary for this battle this battle is insanely hard because not only is there a ton of defensive bugs that need to happen because yes this is just like a mixer but not only is there a bunch of bugs, but you're also going to be being lit on fire the whole time as well. So I'm here to give you guys some helpful tips and tricks. So first things first, a couple tips for you is one, get yourself the fresh defense perk. If you can get it to tier three, you're going to need to do this by eating a bunch of mint pieces. Mint pieces are all over the backyard. Just go ahead and eat them and you will get fresh defense. Trust me. I think it's, I think it's three, five and 10. I think is how it is to get to, to pure to perk 13, three, I think. I think that's what it was before. So I think, but anyway, so go ahead and eat some mint pieces. It's going to help you guys get fresh defense, get it to level three. Don't get it to level two. Like I did get it to level three because it's going to help you guys out even more. It's not impossible at level two, but level three is really going to help you guys out. Now, aside from perks, weapons, 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 the termite axe with fresh on it at level six is not enough. It is not enough. You are going to want a stabbing rusty spear if you can, because it's going to give you infection and you're going to want to take that down the fresh perk side. Why am I saying that? Why am I saying go down fresh? Because you are literally going to be attacked by droves and droves of ladybird larva. Ladybird larva not only hit like a truck, but they also will sizzle you as well. So you're going to need to get as much bonuses to their weakness as you can. So i.e. grab yourself some stabbing weapons, grab yourself fresh. So a fresh tier three spear is going to do you the best. Let's talk trinket. The larva trinket that seems to absorb heat, you get this from killing ladybird larva, it literally gives you sizzle protection. This is so valuable when you try to go and do this challenge. Trust me, you're going to want this little trinket. It saves you even more because you're literally going to be stuck around coals the whole time. The more sizzle protection, the better. And finally, the antlion gear. The antlion gear also gives you sizzle protection. You might as well go and grab it. Just get it. Trust me, get it upgraded before you even try this challenge because it is that incredibly difficult. Now, let's go over to where the challenge actually is. The challenge, guys, is up in the upper backyard where the Coltana originally was able to be gotten and where the recipe was originally gotten. So you want to just run on right over here to the charcoal bag and go in the bottom corner of it and go inside and I'll show you guys exactly where the start is. It's right inside of here, inside of that charcoal. That's right there. That's literally on fire already. Notice how slow my sizzle is going up with everything that I have. Now this is without getting attacked by ladybird larva that are also gonna cause sizzle if they hurt you. But nonetheless, it's a very good thing to have a bunch of sizzle protection. Look how far away from the actual defensive point you need to be in order to survive. Now, I'm going to activate this, guys, after I turn on God mode so that way I don't just up and die. But I'm going to activate this and show you guys what happens when you lose. And then I'm going to show you guys a video of what happens when you win. So let's get over there and let's take a peek, shall we? Let's go ahead and activate this in just a second. Okay, now that we've turned on God mode, let's go over and let's activate the flaming sword. So once it, you try to pull it out, it says Sir Simulot pulled the flaming sword. When that happens, ladybird larva will start appearing all over the place. You need to fight all of them off. The more you fight off, the better. 
That's the whole point of the entire protection of this thing. It wants you to go through and protect the sword. They will start attacking the sword around you. The ladybird larvae want to kill the sword just as badly as they want to kill you. So we're going to give them just a second here of fun to go ahead and destroy the sword. And then uh, we'll see what happens when you go ahead and lose. Because they actually can destroy this thing fairly quickly right now it doesn't seem like they're doing that much damage but just wait sooner or later four or five of them get up there and they really start just tearing the coltana apart now i do want to point out something else i can't be sizzled right now by the ladybird larva i can't so all the sizzle that i have right now is purely because i'm standing anywhere near that charcoal at all this challenge is so incredibly difficult because of this sizzle that it brings a whole new battle to light. So look how quickly they've just wiped out the Coltana. Just like that. And we have lost. So it says, not worthy of the flaming sword's secrets. So now we have lost. Now I'm going to go over to where I actually did win. And where I actually fought so much. Even using god mode as well. Because I wanted to see what would happen if you could actually win. And see what you get. And well, let's go over there and we'll talk about it. Okay, so we're going to start in and we're just going to be looking at where I was at this point. I have already done a ton of da damage. You can see that the Coltana has taken damage, but I'm halfway through the Mastering Secret at this point, which is what you need to do. You need to master the Flaming Sword in order to unlock its secret. Now notice, yes, I have God Mode on. It is very very much needed at this point because i did not have sizzle tier 3 unlocked for fresh defense and i did not have a a piercing fresh weapon with me i would have been doing way more damage if i would have had that and still look at how many larva just happen to flow up here and come up here thankfully i was able to pull it off at the end of this video but this became so difficult. Even in God mode, this was my seventh try on God mode to clear this thing. That's how many times it took me without being able to take damage in the game. Literally, I turned damage off. And yet still, that's how many tries it took me to be able to get this Coltana recipe. Because when you finally go through and you max out that bar that's up there, which you guys will see I'm trying to put on a different sword right now because my axe broke. When you finally do win, you get the secret of the flaming sword. And what is that? It's not the actual Coltana itself. You went through all of that just to get the recipe for the Coltana to be able to make one. Not so you just have one in your inventory, but so you can make one. So then you have to still go out and get everything like that. Now you guys may be asking yourself, well, Sim, why not just build up a protective barrier around it? Because you can't build in here. You literally can't build in here. Even if you went and got some foundations, you can't build in here. It says invalid surface. So there's no way you can build it. You literally have to come in here. The only tip that I can give you guys to make this easier besides your own loadout is bringing a friend with you. That is the only thing because then you have more than one person that can distract. But remember, when you bring more people with you, you spawn in more enemies. So keep that in mind when you guys are going through and trying to do this challenge. Now, I'll be giving this challenge a try tonight in my live stream without any of the god mode assistance that i had when i got it done in that other game but i did not save that it is still right there and we're going to be giving this a try for ourselves a little bit later on but guys that is how you do the coltana challenge i'm sorry that it's so difficult but hey it brings a whole new challenge to the game anyway you do not need the coltana in the game it is a very helpful weapon but you can get the same result by getting yourself either the tick bat and going through and using that with spicy on it or going through and getting your yourself an antlion greatsword with spicy on it as well or if you like spicy weapons that much just make yourself a good old spicy staff and that'll also give you guys a fantastic spicy effect as well but guys that's gonna do it for me today thank you all so much for watching this one i hope you guys liked it if you did hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one